Hello everyone and welcome back to Plane. So I told you last time that my life is busy and that I was finding it difficult to find time to meditate every day and that I was going to try and meditate every day. Well guess what? Right out of the gate I already missed my second day. <laughs> so I've broken my streak. So let's see what happens when we uh, click on continue story here. It should tell us meditation is to be open at every moment. Not that bit. But I was expecting it to tell me that uh, my streak was broken. Which isn't relevant since streaks are not counted here. Okay, your streak is zero. Passive mode. Now, How do I change my streak then? Change fire mode. You can change your fire mode when your streak breaks. I did just break my streak. But can I not go back to habit building mode ever? Because that won't be great. Maybe it's in. Do you think it's somewhere else? Settings, maybe. My streak, maybe. Oh no, that's just where we were just now. Um, my effort. My progress. Huh. I will have to find out later how to... how I can go back to the habit building mode. Not that I want to. But maybe I need to build a streak and then break it? We'll try that out. Not on purpose. Just inevitably. So we've already gone through the teach me how to meditate. Let's try... I'm really curious about these ones. Because there are four chapters here and I'm also curious... If there are more chapters. Um, I believe that I unlocked these with my streaks and the number of meditations that I've actually done. And if you start this game off for the first time, you wouldn't have all of these things open. Um, let's try what happens with uh, Let's Talk today. Let's see what Fox has to say. Ah, what would you like to talk about, friend? Tell me a joke. Yes. What do you call someone who meditates in the snow? Tell me. Frozen. Oh, very nice. <laughs> do you have another joke? Oh, no, it's the same one. Oh. I want to improve my life. There are some basic elements to live a fulfilling life. What would you like to improve? Uh, how can I be happier? We can all be a little bit happier, I suppose. There are a few things we can do to be happier. This isn't a set rule for everyone, but this might help you. Well, me. I hope it does. Know yourself and see humanity in you. Be connected. Be compassionate to yourself. Well, see, that last bit is very important, I think. Being compassionate to yourself, being kind to yourself. That I think is something that most, if not everybody, struggles with a little bit. We find it far easier to be kinder to somebody else than it is to be kind to ourselves. And I think that if we can be kinder to ourselves under all circumstances, I think that you're right, folks. I think that we could all be happier. How can I be compassionate to myself? Be open to yourself. Meditate on yourself by allowing you to be yourself. It's okay to desire change and transformation, but do it out of the desire to grow and experience something new. Do it out of the desire to help yourself live a happier existence, but show love to who you are by being open to who you are right now. Hmm. Sounds nice. How can I be open to who I am? 
We are our thoughts, feelings and emotions. Be open to them, allow them to take place and observe them. This itself is a meditation. This meditation is openness and being open is love. Now, is this another kind of meditation? Teach me this meditation. Next time a powerful thought, feeling, emotion or sensation rises up, try doing this. Allow that feeling or emotion to be there. I allow these emotions to just take place? Yes. Allow this feeling or emotion to sit with you so you can see it, so you can observe it without trying to change it. That sounds difficult. Ah, but won't that be difficult? It can be. Oh, there's a scroll bar. But it's only difficult because you're trying to control it. When you are just aware of something, you are letting it be itself. You can start with smaller emotions and feelings that you struggle with. Like, for example, stepping into a cold shower. Just allow that discomfort to be with you. Say yes to that discomfort. As you learn to simply accept the discomfort, you learn to stop resisting it. And resistance is what causes most of our suffering. I can see that. I can see how that could be applicable. Resistance is what makes us want to run away from these emotions. Resistance is what stops us from learning more about these emotions. I can see that. I can see it. So I just allow any bad thing to happen around me without doing anything? <laughs> well, that's not quite what it sounds like. No, not quite. You choose the situations that you can learn from. It's not about being completely passive. It's about looking for any opportunity to meditate, to observe and to learn. Meditation is to allow our thoughts, feelings, emotions and sensations to just sit with us. When you say yes, you begin to accept it. And this acceptance is a form of openness that you can call awareness. You are simply being aware of it. I understand. I'll try this. Actually, in all fairness, I already try this. So, and it is difficult and scary the first few times. Um, but, you know, like most things that you're scared of, the reality is not as bad as the idea of it. One step at a time. Baby steps are good, though. Don't, you know, don't jump into it in the deep end but it does get easier with time i understand i'll try this next time um i don't have any questions i already went through that one i know there are other paths there we can cover that another time if we're really curious uh how to how to pl how to plane ah that's good you have found yourself here, Wanderer. Now you must bring balance to the world. You can make the sun set, you can make the moon rise, you can make trees grow. All you must do is meditate every day. Your campfire will get bigger as you build a streak. Um, trees will grow. Yeah, we've noticed that. The campfire grows, we've noticed that. Sunrise, yeah, it's night in plain now. It's late evening in, in my real world. How do I meditate? We've done all of these ones. Okay, I'm not that fussed about that. Um, I want to go... Okay, I can't go back. Learn meditation. There's lots of information in here now. Benefits of meditation. Start game. I wanted to... Have a look at... I wanted to have a look at something in, well, just starting chapter one. So chapter one, the fox, the wolf. Of course you have gained this knowledge. Are you ready? Yes. I sense a question, wanderer. Who are you? I am wolf. Ah, you look like a fox though. How did you get here? I was a wanderer, much like you. I lived in a forest not far from here. One day, I left my pack to explore a lake nearby. I found a butterfly, which I chased for a while. Then I saw a centipede, which I considered deeply if I should stamp on. After sunset, I decided not to. Then I lost my trail, got lost, and I became a wanderer, just like you. So I should call you a wanderer? No, 
you are a wanderer, I am wolf. <laughs> I did literally roll my eyes there. What's that? Your eyes. You, they did something magical. Never mind. Tell me how am I able to talk to a fox? I mean, wolf. <laughs> I was made the guardian of plane since I was the first one to discover it. By being its guardian, I was given an ability to talk to anyone that wanders here, so I could guide them. So here I am, Wolf, your guide and the guardian of plane. What are you guarding it from? Mostly just from fools. <laughs> Makes sense. Good. Now I am sure that you are anything but a fool. What do you do with fools? We politely ask them to leave, like the last one who could sleep without closing her eyes. And when you ask them, they just leave? The fools always do. So how long have you been guarding plane? Hundreds of years. Hundreds. That's a long time to just be guarding this place. But I'm not here just to guard the plane and figure out how many days have passed. I'm also here to guide the ones who wander into plane and to teach them meditation. How do you know meditation? I was taught it. Ah, by whom? The foolish fool, of course. <laughs> ah, okay, the foolish fool. What's his name? What did he teach you? Why did he teach you meditation? And tell me more about this foolish fool. I'm curious about this foolish fool. So let's find out more. You must meditate more to find this out, my friend. Oh, okay. Why did he teach you meditation? Because he knew that one day I would have to teach you. Me? He knew that I was going to be here? But why? He knew that what he did would need to be undone. He knew that what he destroyed must once again be created. Huh. What did he destroy? Oh, existence. Don't you see how things no longer grow? He is responsible for it? Certainly he is. How do my meditations bring growth back to plane? I have taught you meditation, which shows you silence. Silence is profound. With silence, you go beyond everything you can experience and everything you can remember. Why is that profound? Do you know the story of the man who died? No tell me apparently when he died he realized that he is alive I don't understand silence is being alive I still don't understand when everything is taken away what is left is silence in silence there is joy in silence there is rejuvenation in silence there is wisdom and insight you know I certainly know a lot of people whom who, if they just kept quiet, they would be giving out a lot more wisdom than with their mouth open and words coming out. I'm sure you could probably think about an example or two as well. I get a lot of happiness doing things that are not silent, but rather very noisy. Uh, do I? Not, not, not specifically. Maybe music. Yes, I can sometimes enjoy really loud music. Um, so meditation is a way to experience silence. Okay, I can see how that is the case. Let's try this one. Happiness is fleeting. Joy is lasting and it leads to silence. You know, talking about the silence reminds me of the silence from Doctor Who. Clearly, this is a different kind of silence. This is a positive silence. So meditation is a way to experience silence. Meditation is a way to become silence. Oh, okay. Interesting. What is another way of calling silence? The present moment. Did you guys hear that? What was that sound? That sounded like an animal. Hmm. So how is silence bringing growth back to plane? You see, the foolish fool has made us forget what time is. That is why the sun no longer sets and trees no longer grow. How can you forget time? You must meditate more before you can understand this. So this foolish fool was truly powerful. And let's not forget a fool as well. But how does my meditation 
bring balance back to plane. Oh, I got an achievement. When you achieve, when you meditate, <laughs> sorry, achievements clearly got in my brain. When you meditate in that silence, you begin to understand how the crazy raging idiot did what he did. When you understand, you bring balance back to plane. So keep meditating, wanderer. As you meditate, your understanding will grow, and as it grows, I will tell you more about the story of plane. I understand. I will continue meditating. Thank you, wolf. And on that note, let's take a, another look at the meditation options that we saw yesterday. So we've got plane meditation with guy. Okay, so plane meditation is the main one here. And then we've got plane meditation A. All right, so that's plane meditation with guided audio. Code meditation of plane with guided audio that helps us to realize the nature of our mind. This wisdom can help us to transform how we relate and respond to our daily living. I am personally not a huge fan of guided meditations. Uh, if lots of people ask me to show them a guided meditation, I can I can add it in. But I am inclined to skip that for now at least. Sensations. In this meditation, you will explore and better understand the nature of your sensations. Hmm. That sounds quite interesting. Hold on. I just want to check recommended duration. So that's 20 minutes. This is also 20 minutes. Acceptance. In this ex meditation, you will explore the nature of awareness, being open and being accepting of our sensations, feelings, and emotions. That sounds like it could be quite interesting. Repetition. Okay, so this is all growth. That's the foundation. This is growth. Guided. Oh, these are all guided meditations. So do they all have audio in it? Oh, this is also guided meditation. Huh. Only this one has an A against it. This one says with guided audio. We'll, we'll give it a quick look-see, maybe. Uh, okay, we've also got clarity, repetition meditation, steady your mind by repeating a phrase. This meditation involves repeating a phrase, a word or a phrase, as we place our awareness on the repeating vibrations of the sound. In time, it can help us to focus attention and ground our mind. Again, 20 minutes, focus, clarity and calmness. Thought pages. I'd, uh, I'd heard about this one, this sounds particularly interesting. This free writing practice teaches you to express freely and openly and encourages you to sit with the silence when you encounter it. I think that is probably not something that I would do as a as a video, but unless I, you just want me to type some random stuff out, you know, <laughs> match the keyboard. Although that doesn't sound or feel very meditative to me. I'm sure you have that mode works though. Breathing for calm. This yogic breathing technique can help to relieve stress and provide a sense of calm, improved mood, concentration and focus. You can use it whenever you need clarity in the face of pressure or stress. Well, that seems like something that could be very useful these days with coronavirus or COVID-19 and all that kind of stuff going on. Well, there's breath as an option here. Sorry, I got distracted. Breath as an option. Is that there in all of them? Oh, there is. Oh, I did not see that yesterday. Oh, slow, slow, slower. Oh, wait. There was in here. Oh, right. There are different options here. Look, four, 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 four. Five, 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 six. Oh, you think that's... Huh. I'm not sure what that is for. Is that four seconds in, four seconds out? No. That may be four seconds in, four seconds hold, four seconds out, four seconds hold. You think? Maybe. Ah, we can maybe have a look. Level 1, level 2. Oh, there are multiple levels. Amazing! This is like really, really deep stuff. Way more than uh, it had before. And, uh, okay. The benefits of this type of yogic breathing are very similar to box breathing, but it includes longer breath retention. So the effects are more calming and relaxing. And we have abdominal breathing as well. This exercise teaches you how to breathe deeply into your abdomen. Breath has a profound impact on our mind and learning to breathe deeply can be very beneficial. 
So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, eight to nine completely different um, types of meditations here, or eight to nine different meditations, I should say. I'm not sure how different they really are. Uh, maybe we could try a different one each day. Uh, although I am a little not that enthusiastic about the guided ones. And do, are they all? Oh, these, this one doesn't have a recommended duration. This one? Oh, recommended duration five minutes. That's a short one. This is also five minutes. Again, a short one. Truth is, I really enjoy the standard plain meditation one. And I'm really looking forward to doing that one again, or I was really looking forward to doing that one again. Um, I am, I will, if I do enough of these, I will explore the other ones. But for today, I'm going to go back to the standard meditation, the plain meditation, again for 10 minutes. And that one I quite like. We'll go, ooh, deep breath. We'll go with slow. Um, though I'm really curious about the breathing for calm as well. We'll do these other ones, but another day. Um, so let's get ready for this one. I won't read out the text like I did last time. We can just go straight into it. Um, I guess, you know what? Core, uh, core meditation of playing with guided audio. Huh. Maybe we'll try this one then. After all my dissing of guided meditation, maybe we will try this one. So that we can get a something different, but the same as well. Begin. In this meditation, we are going to explore the nature of our thoughts. So let's begin. Close your eyes and bring your breathing back to its normal rhythm. Are you breathing? To answer that question, you became aware of your own breathing. Keep your awareness on your breathing. If you like, you can place your awareness on the physical sensations of your breath, like how the air expands around your abdomen or how the air enters and leaves your nose. Remain aware of your breath. You'll notice that thoughts will start to appear. When you observe a thought, acknowledge it by clicking your mouse or tapping the space bar and bring your awareness back to your breathing. Remember, you're not resisting thoughts from rising and you're not encouraging thoughts from rising neither. You're just watching as the thought comes and watching as the thought leaves, just like the tides in a river. Remain in this awareness of the breath and observe as thoughts appear and disappear. If it makes it easier every time a thought appears, you can acknowledge it by tapping the mouse button or pressing the space bar. 
Sometimes we'll forget to remain as an observer and we'll get lost in the thought. When your mind wanders like this, just bring your awareness back to your breath. In this meditation, you're exploring the nature of your thoughts while using your breath to remain as an observer and not a participant in your thoughts. For the remainder of the meditation, all you do is this. Keep your awareness on your breathing. When you observe a thought, acknowledge it by clicking your mouse or tapping the space bar and bring your awareness back to your breathing. I'll leave you to complete the rest of the meditation. If you need further guidance, then follow the instructions on the screen.
The first rule is to keep an untroubled spirit. The second is to look things in the face and know them for what they are. The true harvest of my life is intangible. A little stardust caught a proportion of the rainbow I have clutched. Well done, you have completed your meditation. Meditate tomorrow to continue growing your plane. We shall have to try and s meditate tomorrow as well so that we can try and build up a streak again, um, which I have not succeeded so far. But tomorrow, with a bit of luck, should be doable. I really do enjoy the standard plane meditations and the um, the guided meditation, the guided part of it, wasn't as irritating for me, or as disturbing perhaps is a better word, as I was expecting. And it was only a few minutes long. It wasn't, you know, all the way through the 10 minutes, which is which is good, which was good for me at least. Uh, but it still holds as a general thing. I'm not, I, I am personally not a big fan of uh, guided meditations. If you want to, if you want me to do more of those, then I will. But I'm more likely to stick to the non-guided ones. But in any event, that is all we have for today. And uh, I will try and carry on again tomorrow. Thanks a lot for joining me. And I will see you again next time. <laughs>